In this video, I'm going to tell you how to change the grip on your stick. So the first thing you need is obviously a stick with a grip that you feel like it's time to change out. When's it time to change your grip? That varies depending on the player. But what I can safely say is that if you've played with the same stick for more than one season, you should definitely give it a go because the difference at that point is insane. Just take a look at this picture up here. This is the difference between one season and two training sessions. Uh, and that's just the visual difference. The feel is phenomenal. You'll need a new grip. Um, I'll come back later to different types of grip uh, and also a pair of scissors. Uh, you can also, as an optional uh, piece of equipment, uh, a piece of tape of some sort. And we'll get back to that one as well. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is to remove the grip that you have on your stick already. Uh, on this one, I've got the original grip from the bottom here up until this point here, where I've added just a sliver, just a top grip, basically. If you're economically minded and want to save on grips, this is one way of solving it, because the top part here is the part that gets the most wear and tear, and it's the first part that you'll sort of begin feeling, ah, oh, it's not as good as it used to be. So I'll tell you how to do this bit as well, but let's just assume that you want to replace the whole grip. So you remove the grip by starting with removing the tape at the end, like this. <laughs> Once you get to the end of the tape, the rest of the grip usually comes off by, by itself. Now, <clears throat> right, in, right at the bottom here, the, at the inmost layer, there's also a piece of adhesive or tape. You should also try to remove this as well. And it is quite, it can be quite finicky. Uh, so I'm just going to cut away now and I'll see you guys later. Quick update, the adhesive won't go away and I tried <laughs> washing it away and then drying it with a towel and that just made it worse. So we're just going to crack on. This is what it looks like when you've removed it. You can throw that away and then get out your new grip. Uh, it should look something like this <clears throat> when it's new. This particular one seems to have a outer coating as well as a this inner one here. And it's this white tape on the inside here that's the one that you'll be sticking down onto the stick. So which end do you begin with? Uh, I'm going to assume that this red one here means that that's the one that they want you to start with ones who made it and what you want to do is you want to begin with the flat end facing the top so this is the this is the edge that goes around the top of your stick like that and then begin at the back like this so you take away the well you can take away I'm going to remove the whole of this top layer of tape because I don't want to stick that down and then piece by piece remove the little part, the backing, and this is this is the critical part of the uh, taping of the stick because this is the part that needs to be done quite neatly. So you begin with the tape around the top edge. Let's see if I can show you like this. Begin with it at the top edge and then stretch it as tightly as you can and make sure that you get a nice Make sure that it goes round the top nicely. Now, <clears throat> I personally haven't figured out the perfect way to do this yet, but what basically what you need to do is you need to get it uh, tightly over this bit here so that this flap doesn't stick out, and then sort of bend it downwards and then over and around this bump here and try to make it as seamless as possible. So I'm going to see if I can do that for you guys now, or for myself as well. <clears throat> Don't worry if you need to do a few attempts. The adhesive is strong enough that you can apply it and then take it off and then, then reapply it as many times as you feel like you need to. So here we go.
Right. I've done better, I must say, but this is good enough. <clears throat> now, moving along downwards, down along the shaft here, you can do it as tight or as loose as you want. You can overlap as much or as little as you want. Um, you can experiment, and as I said, you can wrap up your whole stick and think, wow, I didn't quite like this, and then redo it. Um, probably not as many times as you want, so maybe once or twice. So, yeah. See what you see what you like, but uh, do keep in mind that the tighter you do it, the longer or the less uh, the less grip you'll actually need. And if you overlap more, so you have if you have more of an overlap, then you're also going to need more of the grip as well. So that's also something to consider. How long would you like the grip to be? You probably want it as long as uh, the grip that you just took off. Probably. So I'm just going to go around this whole thing. I Personally, I like to just overlap maybe two or three millimeters. It's not an exact science. And uh, I also like to have it relatively tight as well. <clears throat> okay, I've made it down as far as I want to go. As you can see, this is yeah, this is my wrapping. Relatively neat, I'd say. So now we've made it down this far. And this is the point where you'll need your pair of scissors. This part doesn't have to be particularly neat. Um, I like for it to be quite neat, so this is how I do it, to try to make it as neat as possible. Extend and stretch the grip as far as you can get it, like this and then try to cut perpendicular to the shaft like this in as straight a line as possible. So, like that. Once that's done, wrap up the final segment. Like so. I'm going to redo it now to make sure that it is perfect. Perfect for me, at least. There you go. I think that's about as just about as good as it's going to get. So now that's pretty much flush up against the uh, the grip. Now we come to the tape. Uh, inside pretty much any pack, you can expect to find a piece of tape like this. This is one of the ways you can cover up this final flap here. If you want to, you can use electrical tape if you have that handy. Uh, some players like to use coach tape. That's also an option. If you have kinesiology tape, I suppose you could do that as well, and even gaffer tape is an option, although I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, incidentally, on my very first stick, I have used gaffer tape. I don't use this one very often because, yeah, this is how I practiced my Zorro first time out. I'm going to use this one here that came along with the grip, and it's fairly straightforward. It's just a case of removing the backing and again, I like to do this quite neatly, so place it just over the excess piece. Bring it taut, wrap it around, and since I like to do it neatly, try to make it parallel. This isn't important, as I said, to make it neat, but it's just personal preference. Bring it all the way around. There you have it. Oh, it feels amazing. Another option, another thing that you can do uh, is to just do the top bit. And I'll show you how to do that now. One, two, three. <clears throat> here we have a new stick. Let's say in this situation, I'm happy with the grip down here, but this bit here, you can even see it's not really, it doesn't really look that good. Uh, so I only want to do uh, a piece on the top here. First, you need to figure out how much of this do you want. If this tape here was down here, um, that would definitely annoy me if I could feel the tape up here as I was playing. So the way to gauge this accurately is to hold your stick like this, bring out your pointy finger like that, and then pick a spot sort of just past your pointy finger like this, Get out your scissors or a knife and make a make a notch, something like that. 
make that notch all the way around and try to remove the top part of the grip that you've notched out. Here it's just a case of repeating uh, the steps previously, you know, uh, applying the grip from the top here and then just cutting it off and taping over it so that it all stays snug and good. And voila, you've saved yourself some money and also personalized your stick a little bit, made it look a little bit more unique. As you can see here, grips are available in a multitude of different colors and also thicknesses. Uh, the thinner the grip, obviously the lighter the stick, so if that's important to you, that's what you should go for. Uh, although be aware they do have a shorter life span in terms of grippiness. So if you want a grippier grip, you should probably go for a thicker one. The grippiest grips of them all have or they tend to be, there seems to be an agreement that they are the grey ones. And uh, particularly Klubhuse, um, a Swedish floorball shop, uh, there's quite a bit of hype surrounding their grey grip. And I have to say, the hype is real. So if you have the means to acquire a grey KH grip, then go for it. But don't feel bad if, you know, you're on the other side of the world or in a country where the KH grip is not available. If you want the grippiest grip that you can get your hands on, try to go for a grey one. Um, other colours are, as I said, available, so some might choose to go for a different colour because some players are a little bit vain like that. You know, I think this looks better than a grey one. But the grey grips are most definitely the grippiest. There's a few things for you to keep in mind. Um, that's it for now. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Cheerio.